Merch by Amazon Training Niche Alert. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you six fantasy football niches that are low in competition. Hello everyone, my name is Mike. I'm a full-time print-on-demand seller. I make YouTube videos showing you how to make more money on Merch by Amazon and other print-on-demand platforms. If you like this kind of content and you get any value out of this video, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Okay, let's get into the content of the video. So now that we're heading into summer, you know, things are going to be kind of slow. I was kind of mentioning that in yesterday's video. But there is one niche that is coming up that does actually really well <clears throat> right uh, before September, and it is the fantasy football niche. And I'm actually wearing my San Francisco 49ers jersey for this video. Um, but the reason or one of the reasons why I thought this would be a good niche or a good video to make is because I actually started getting some fantasy football sales the other day. And so that kind of made me think, OK, maybe, you know, I should make a video about this because fantasy football designs are going to start selling here soon. So the first niche that I have for you guys or the first phrase, actually, well, actually, let me just show you this first. If we just go to fantasy football, we're going to see there's already a thousand results. All right, so it's kind of competitive niche already. And you're going to see that the majority of the designs are like these ones right here where it says, I suck at fantasy football. So you're going to see a lot of designs like this. And you're also going to see like respect the commish, respect the champ, things like that. Uh, but if we just make more designs like that, we're not really we're not really adding any value to the marketplace. So we want to kind of zig when everybody's zagging and we want to find niches or phrases that are lower in competition. And the first niche that I have for you are a different way to kind of think about this because actually three out of the six niches that I have are actually for women, for the wife, you know, so you kind of want to think like outside of the box here. Um, and the first one that I have for you is I'm better than my husband at fantasy football. So this is for a woman or for a wife that also plays fantasy football because there are women that do uh, play fantasy football. And we're going to see there's only 18 results. And when we, uh, I can't go to the third page or second page because there is one. But when we look at the BSRs, we're going to see that these designs are selling. So this one right here, I'm better than my husband at fantasy football. You know, it has 13 reviews. It's selling at 18 bucks and has a BSR of 1.8 million. Now, again, like I always say in these videos with these low competition niches, the BSRs are not going to be amazing and blow you out the water, make you a million overnight, but they will get you some sales. And we can see that this phrase is selling right here. We're going to see it again. This is another style. Five, uh, 5 million BSR. And again, you want to think when you're designing for this, you want to think, you know, that a woman is going to be wearing this. That's why you're going to see like these pink colors right here. Um, if we go to test to see if this is trademarked, I'm better than my husband at fantasy football. We hit enter, nothing pops up. Um, when we go to Etsy, you know, these phrases, there's going to be barely any competition. So I didn't even type in the phrase. I just typed in fantasy football shirt. We're going to see there's only 1700. Uh, red bubble the competition is also very low as well nothing popped up for this phrase and nothing popped up for this phrase on t public either so that's the first one that i have for you and it is i'm better than my husband at fantasy football and this is for women or for wives that play fantasy football and the second fantasy football niche that i have for you that is low in competition is also going to be uh, for women and the phrase or the niche is mrs commish and basically this is for the wife of the commissioner so in every fantasy football league there's usually a commissioner someone that runs the league basically and they're kind of like the big dog the hot shot in the league and you know some of them have wives and they want to have shirts for their wives basically or the wives want to have a shirt saying that they're mrs commish so that they will be respected as well um, i'm assuming but we're going to see that there's only 18 results for this uh, phrase right here mrs commish and again, we're going to see that these designs are selling pretty easy to design for, um, you know, just some text. Again, we're seeing the same kind of theme here with pink. Um, you want to think of uh, women when you're designing for this because that's who is going to be wearing these. But we're going to see low in competition, easy to design for and selling. Now, the BSRs, you know, aren't the great, but, you know, as we get closer to, um, you know, September and to football season, you know, we're going to see these BSRs drop and get a lot, a lot better. Um, if we take a look at test to see if this is trademarked, Mrs. Commish, hit enter, nothing pops up. And if we go to Etsy, only 907 results. We can take a look at Redbubble to see there's only eight results. Get some ideas about how people are designing for it. Um, and T Public, we're only going to see one result. I think you probably do a better design than this one right here. So that is going to be the second uh, niche that I have for you guys. And then the third fantasy football niche that I have for you that is low in competition is also for women. Uh, and it is fantasy football trophy wife. So we're going to see right here, fantasy football trophy wife, only 24 results. This is what some of the designs look like. So this is 
for, you know, uh, the husband or the wife of someone that, you know, plays uh, fantasy football. And she basically wants to show off saying fantasy football trophy wife that she's very attractive. It's kind of like a play on words because, you know, you get the trophy when you win the fantasy football league. So this is the uh, third one that I have for you right here. We're going to take a look at these designs and we're going to see that they are selling. Um, pretty easy to design for as well. Again, you want to think along the lines of women when you're designing for this. Use women colors. Use like script fonts. You know, kind of those like cursive ones. Um, we'll take a look at some of the BSRs. Here's another one right here. We could see with the script and the, the script font and the pink colors. Another one with the script script font. So you know, pretty easy to design for. Again, this is just text, text, text. You know, you don't really need that much clip art or that much design skills to get this done. You can make this on Canva or Photoshop pretty easily. If we take a look at test to see if this is trademark, so fantasy football trophy wife, we're going to hit enter, nothing pops up. And when we take a look at the competition on the other websites, only 589 results on Etsy. A um, little more on Redbubble, so 48 results. And on TeePublic, we can see what some of the designs look like. So those are the, the first, or that's the third niche that I have for you. The first three are for women because I kind of want you guys to think a little bit like outside of the box because there's not going to be too many people that are going to be thinking about, you know, uh, fancy football shirts for women. They just think men automatically. So I wanted to share with you uh, those, uh, those three first. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the next three, which are going to be for men. Okay, so the fourth uh, niche that I have for you guys for fantasy football is going to be eat, sleep, check my lineup, repeat. We're going to see there's only 14 results. Um, if you've done fantasy football before, you know that pretty much every day you got to be checking your lineup and, you know, putting people in, taking people out, things like that, checking the news, just making sure that your lineup is ready to go. And so that's kind of the idea behind this phrase or uh, shirt right here. Here we're going to see what some of the designs look like. Now, this is a very popular design style. You've probably seen this. I mean, you can use this eat, sleep, repeat for almost any niche. Um, so this one is taking that design style and basically cross niching it with fantasy football. So I mean if you want you could just do like eat sleep fantasy football repeat or you can go like eat sleep um, you know check my lineup repeat. But we're going to see low in competition um, maybe a little harder to design for but not the hardest and we're going to see that this phrase or this niche is selling right here. We can see the BSRs it's another one right here. This is all text, so this actually is pretty easy to design. If you go like this style with the kind of like the distressed or retro kind of font. Um, if we take a look at test to see if this is trademarked, eat, sleep, check my line and repeat, hit enter, nothing pops up. Competition on Etsy is low, 695 results. Redbubble, I'm only seeing one. And T Public, um, not really seeing much. Oh, we got a sale. All right, starting the day off good. Um, so that is the fourth uh, niche that I have for you guys. So before I share with you the uh, fifth uh, niche, um, I want to share with you that sale that I just got. So you might have heard the ka-ching sound. So I actually just sold a tank top. And the first thing I just want to talk about is uh, a few video go a few video go a few videos ago. I was talking about how don't be afraid to increase your prices. I'm, I'm not pricing anything lower that doesn't get me royalty at seven bucks. So everything is pretty much at twenty two ninety nine, twenty four ninety nine, and up. And here you can see you're still going to get sales when you price high. And right here I sold this tank top. I think I have it priced at $24.99 or $27.99, whatever gets you $7.41 in royalties. And also, this niche right here, I actually made a video about it um, a couple months ago. So this is actually the video right here, um, Merch by Amazon Trending Niches. And right here, if we take a look to see what the actual design is, I'll just show you guys. Uh, so this is it right here. Gra drag is not a crime. Um, I made a video about this. That's the one that I just showed you. And also, I just got this clip art from Creative Fabrica. So a lot of the stuff that I'm like recommending or teaching you guys, I actually do myself. I just saw this uh, phrase trending on Amazon. Drag is not a crime. I went to Creative Fabrica, got the clip art, put the text on the top bottom, uploaded it onto uh, Merch by Amazon, priced it high, and you can see I got a sale. All right. So just want to share with you that. And now the fifth niche that I have for you in the fantasy football niche is this phrase right here that says, we interrupt this marriage to bring you fantasy football. So it's actually pretty funny for all the married people out there. You know what, uh, how, why this is funny basically. Um, but so basically this is like, um, in the States, you'll be watching TV and sometimes they'll be like, we interrupt this broadcast to, you know, have us uh, show you some breaking news. Um, so that's kind of like, uh, where the idea comes from. We're going to see there's only nine results. Competition is low. These are selling. 
There's only a few of these designs. I'm only seeing two actually right here. They got BSRs, they have reviews. So this could be a good one for us. If we check tests, not trademarked. Let's try that again, hit enter, not trademarked. Um, and competition on all the other websites are going to be low, 657 on Etsy, nothing pops up on Redbubble, and nothing pops up on TeePublic either. Actually, no, wait, this one right here, but this is not the best design at all. I'm sure you guys could probably make something better. So that's the fifth niche that I have for you. And then the sixth and final niche that I have for you for fantasy football is going to be dad, husband, fantasy football legend. We're going to see there's only 141 results, and this one actually does have a third page. So if we go to third page, we're going to see that there's still only 141 results. I saved this one to the end because uh, it was probably the most competitive. But I like this one a lot because it's kind of like a triple niche. You're cross-niching husband, dad, and fantasy football. So this is very specific to, you know, a guy that's married and has kids, uh, basically. Pretty easy to design for, distressed font. I'm kind of using that retro style. Um, if we take a look on tests, actually first let's go back just to take a look at the, um, actually for some reason the BSRs don't load, but these shirts are selling, they have good BSRs, maybe on the next page. Okay, well this is the second page, so none of the BSRs are popping up, but eh, you're just going to have to take my word for it, this design or this uh, phrase is uh, selling. If we go to tests, we're going to see this phrase is not trademarked. And if we take a look at the competition on the other websites, 539 on Etsy, Redbubble, a little more competition, 135 results. And this is what the designs look like on T Public. So those are the six designs or phrases that I have for you for fantasy football. Now, if you go to create a fabrica, you can just type in fantasy football. And there's actually some designs that you can just take right here. And some of these are actually the ones that I mentioned in the video. So like the first one, I'm better than my husband at fantasy football. This one, like I just talked about right here, husband, dad, fantasy football. So if you don't know how to design or you don't have Photoshop or you don't have access to Canva or whatever, I don't know, you know, you can just come to um, create a fabrica and you can basically uh, download these and just upload them. You just have to go to the special license, click on print on demand. And we're going to see that these ones are still uh, allowed for use. Um, <clears throat> Creative Fabrica, they have a promo going on right now where you pay basically 60 bucks <clears throat> and you get access to all of their um, tools. So fonts, graphics, AI, courses, um, bundles, and they have a whole POD section. If you're interested, I have a link in my description. It is an affiliate link, so if you do sign up using my affiliate link, I do get a small commission. But Creative Fabrica probably has the best value for us uh, print on demand and merch sellers. It just has a lot of value, especially for the price compared to like Vexels and some of the other ones. Uh, so if you're interested, uh, take a look. Links in the description. And then if you're struggling to get sales on Merch by Amazon on Redbubble, I would recommend that you check out my two courses that I have on Udemy. Uh, the first one is a Merch by Amazon uh, for beginners, step-by-step -step beginners guide for mastering Merch by Amazon. Um, it's basically an hour worth of content. Here you can see what you will learn. Uh, basically break down like uh, why low competition niches, how to cross niche, how to niche down, how to scale your designs, how to find trending niches. You can steal my best evergreen niches, how to uh, check for trademarks, how to keep your account safe, how to design, how to find keywords, how to do the SEO for your designs. Um, you can take a look at some of the reviews. It has a 4.4 course rating. It's only $10 right now for today. And I also have one for Redbubble, similar step-by-step -step beginner's guide for mastering Redbubble, same thing, 10 bucks. You can watch the video. You can take a look at what you'll learn and the course content. This one actually has a better rating, uh, 4.6. So uh, take a look. If you're interested, these links will be in the description and I'll also have them as a pinned comment. These courses are good for beginners or for people that are struggling to get sales. If we take a look at my credentials on Merch by Amazon, I'm a tier 8,000 seller. I've done almost 12,000 sales and I just hit $40,000 in royalties. I make anywhere between $500 to $1,000 a month. Um, if we take a look at my credentials on Redbubble, you're going to see over the past 12 months I've done $1,700. My best month was last year where I did almost $250. This month it looks like I'm sitting right around $128. So um, if you're interested, links will be in the description and I'll also have, as, also have them as a pinned comment. Um, that's going to be the video for today. Type in the comments which niche or which phrase for fantasy football you like the most, which one you want to design for. If you like this kind of content, subscribe to my channel. I put out videos on a regular basis just talking about trending niches, evergreen niches, low competition niches, niches that are kind of like outside of the box and not too many people are thinking about. If you like that kind of stuff, subscribe, click the bell, and that's going to be it for today's video. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.
Okay, go Niners. Bye-bye.